In this video, we're going to learn how to have more than one quiz in a single project. Okay, guys, so we're going to jump right in here. Uh, Samuel Ramos had a great question here. Uh, he put a comment in one of my videos here. One quick question. Can I make more than one quiz in a module? I'm trying to make a Spanish quiz and an English version in the same course. That's a, a fantastic uh, question, Samuel. Absolutely, you can totally do that. Let's just minimize this. I've done some of the preliminary work here. Um, I just came up with this idea of having uh, know your country. So this is for all North Americans. Uh, well, certainly Canadians and Americans anyway. And uh, so you, you launch your course. The idea is, is that you would have a button for uh, one quiz and a button for the other. So you need some kind of navigation. Uh, in this case, it's real simple. I've just done uh, two branches, one for Canada and one for the United States. So the first thing I need to do is make sure that my navigation works for those branches. Now I have two quizzes here. Each quiz contains three questions and of course there's a final quiz results page so uh, we'll get to how that works in a moment but the first thing we need to do is make sure that the branch uh, works so I'm going to choose the Canada quizzes first so uh, the action for this button actually it can be go to next slide because the the next slide is the first branch the United States of America button however needs to jump to slide six because that's where the American quiz starts. So we'll just do that for starters. And I'll just take you through this here. So we've got our Canada quiz. I've labeled it the Canada quiz and uh, it should work perfectly. And then the American quiz starts on slide six. Uh, who was the current head of state? What is the motto of the United States? which city is the capital, and so on. And, uh, you know, if we were to run this right now, let's just try this real quick. We'll do a preview uh, of the project. So we'll click Next, and we'll choose, we'll choose the United States of America. Uh, so who is the current head of state? George Washington, of course. Uh, what is the motto of the United States? Who are you going to call? And I'll get one right here. Washington, D.C. is the capital of the United States. So I only got 17% because, of course, there are, uh, there are six questions. I only got one right. Uh, but I didn't get a chance to see those other three questions. So how are we going to fix that? Well, there's a couple things we need to do. We want to make sure the navigation works. Uh, actually, on the very last quiz question for the Canada quiz, which is first, we need to change one small thing. On success, we need to go to uh, or jump to slide, in this case, 9, which is our quiz results slide. And that's going to be true for even if we get it wrong, even if it's incorrect. So jump to slide 9. Now that alone won't be enough. We still need to do something to this to make it work. So uh, let me just double check here. So we have the branch. We start either Canada or the United States. At the end of the Canada quiz, it jumps to the quiz results page. And of course, this should all work. Okay. One thing we need to do, and this is the, the real uh, small, tiny, missing component, but it's important for this to work. We need to go into our drop-down menu, our edit drop-down menu, and select preferences. And we need to make this branch aware. That's really all you need to do. Um, you, of course, can select all the other sorts of things that you would typically have. Um, yeah, that all looks good. Let's click OK. But making this branch aware will allow you to have uh, two different sets of questions. Technically, they're all part of the same quiz, but when you say branch aware, 
it says that if you don't visit that slide, it's not going to be part of the quiz. So let's test that out and see how that works. So we'll just do a preview here of the entire project. We'll try both scenarios to make sure both are working 100%. Okay, so know your country. Let's click next to begin. Uh, we'll start off, we'll pick Canada because that's the first quiz and it will jump to the quiz results slide and we'll see what that has. Click Canada. Um, who is the head of state? Um, we'll, we'll get, you know, two right and one wrong, let's say. Queen Elizabeth II is the head of state of Canada. Uh, what city is the capital of Canada? We'll get this one uh, wrong. We'll say Toronto. And what is the motto of Canada? Double, double. So now the maximum score I can get is 30. I only scored 10. I only did get one right. Oh, that's right. No, I, I did. <laughs> I got one right and two wrong. Uh, let's review that quiz and we'll see how that works. So I got this one right. And uh, I got this one wrong. And I got this one wrong. Okay, so uh, let's do that again. This time we'll pass and we'll do the American quiz. So let's uh, preview this project. Okay, so this time we'll do the American quiz. United States of America. Who is the current head? We'll get a we'll get a hundred percent correct this time. Barack Obama. Of course, you could be watching this a year from now, and he may not be. But at the time of this uh, video, Barack Obama was the current head of state, or is the current head of state of the United States. So that's correct. Uh, In God We Trust is the motto of the United States. And which city is the capital? Washington, D.C. Submit. And we got 30 out of 30, or three correct questions, three total questions. 100% congratulations, we passed the quiz. We can review that quiz now. Yep, got it right. Got it right. And got it right. So there's, there's your answer, Samuel. Just one little tiny check mark. Making your course uh, branch aware is really all you need to do and making sure you have the right navigation in place. So at the end of quiz number one, you're going to want to jump or, or jump down to the quiz results page. Uh, and of course, you need to set up a branch at the beginning to choose one or the other. And that should work fine. So, guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was useful, helpful, entertaining, fun, educational, etc., go ahead and give me a thumbs up.